Hey everybody, welcome back to another cryptocurrency news article. This one's coming from CoinGape, and California targets crypto ATM scams with new $1,000 daily withdrawal rule. So yeah, California proposes a $1,000 limit on crypto ATM withdrawals to curb scams and regulate transaction fees. So there is that word, regulate, so they would just want more regulation and rules. But I guess some of these ATMs have been charging a whopping like over 25% rule or something. Some are doing 30, and that is crazy. That is that it's not cool. I think the most is like 18, 15 to 18 most places, but 30% crazy. But let's go through this article. According to a recent report, California legislators are pushing a bill to tighten regulations around cryptocurrency ATMs. The new proposal imposes a $1,000 daily withdrawal limit and restricts transaction fees. These changes set for implementation on January 1st, 2024, aim to protect consumers by addressing exorbitant fee markups and high withdrawal caps currently prevalent in the state crypto's ATM transactions. Now, California bill targets high crypto ATM fees. Legislators' concerns heightened after discovering crypto ATMs in Sacramento offering assets with up to a 33% markup compared to a standard exchange price. Currently, these machines impose fees ranging from 12 to 25%, significantly above the norm for traditional financial services. Moreover, withdrawal limits reach $50,000 in some cases, presenting substantial risks, especially for uninformed or uninformed users susceptible to scams. The proposal regulations championed by Democratic state Monique Lamone responded to these alarming findings. Besides introducing a daily cap on withdrawals, the bill mandates that from 2025, operators can charge only $5 or 15% of the transaction's amount. This measure seeks to prevent consumers from falling prey to shocking fees currently dominating the segment of the cryptocurrency market. So I guess they're just calling these high fee scams. Uh, it's just because they like using that term. But again, I'm sure they're not announcing of, like the fees that go into having this and just how they got to fight it. But license push aims to curb fraud. The legislative package goes beyond immediate financial restrictions. By July of 2025, all digital financial asset businesses will need a license from the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. This step will ensure closer oversight, potentially reducing fraudulent activities frequently orchestrated around these kiosks due to the anomaly of the hard cash transactions provided. Now, unlike bank and wire transfers, scams involving crypto ATMs often exploit the lack of digital trail. Consequently, victims have found themselves ensnared or ensnared in schemes, losing substantial funds. Residents affected by such deceptions have praised the proposal bill, acknowledging that reduced transaction limits could provide a crucial reflection period to identify potential fraud. However, the bill does face criticism from crypto ATM operators. The regulations might harm smaller companies due to the rent they pay on ATM spaces. They contend that the legislative focus is misplaced, targeting the technology instead of the actual fraud perpetrators. The industry warns that stifling these innovations could backfire, harming consumers and giving free reign to bad actors. So yeah, so again, that's why some of these places do charge so high, especially in California, like with the rules and regulations against it so high and yeah, tough, like, no, they got to pay a fee to be in a certain place. And then, yeah, if it's like at 15%, because I know some exchanges are usually like, what, three to 5%, that's like cash app, but then it does require KYC. And of course, they don't like these crypto ATMs because they people deposit cash, so they get Bitcoin, so it's not a trail that they can track. So again, it's all about regulations and everything. That's like the, that's just the whole thing with it. And you know, California or California, which I will be visiting again in a couple of days. Can't wait to see the family again. But it's all about regulations. They're calling pretty much everything a scam. Like we're trying to protect the users. Like literally my asked to change my business name from Crypto Sherpa LLC to Sherpa Studios and then reopen my bank account because Chase closed it down. I had to literally go in there and go uh, just to verify that that was a reason why. And there was just a, yeah, it was like, a, can you just tell me why my account's not working anymore? And they said, oh, it's closed. And they try to like really be all soft about it. Like uh, trying to find the right words. And in the end it was, I had to go, is it because it's crypto in the name? And she was like, yeah. It was like, it's such a fast change. Like, and I was just like, okay, thank you. Now I need to know what I need to do. So, but yeah, but that's California targeting the crypto ATM scams. If you guys enjoy this article, smash that thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.